Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to make a Lego Xerneas. So let's get started. So the first thing that you'll need is this um, 4x2 flat piece with um, slants uh, on both sides so that there are 4 studs on top and a 2x2 two two flat piece connect them so that the front two studs are showing on the 2x2 two two flat piece. Then take two 1x1 one one studs and put them on the front two studs of the 2x4. Then you want to take two 1x1 one one slanted pieces and put them on the remaining two studs so that it looks like this and the slant is facing up to your right. Then you want to have this one by two flat piece with, um, I'm not sure what you would call it, but like a front or whatever, and attach it to the two remaining studs on the two by two. Then take two one by two slanted pieces, attach them so the curve or slant or whatever is going down to your right. Then take a one by two flat piece with a stud in the center, put them on those two studs in the front. Then take a one by one slant put it on the stud to make the nose. The next thing you need is a um, this 3x3 three three piece with a stud um, cut off or taken off of the one corner so there's a little curve there. Then um, take a 1x4 flat piece and a 1x1 stud place it on the bottom so that there's two openings right here and one opening on the other side then take a 1x4 flat piece place it on the um, one opening to your left like that, then take another one by one slant and put it so that there's one stud here and one stud on both sides of the slant. And you want to have two of those for this side, so put them on the on the that stud and then the other one on this stud. What you want to do next is, er, on this side, starry. What you want to do next is you want to make um, two more antlers that look like this except it's in reverse so you want to have two four by four flat pieces and make the first 4x4 four four flat piece on top instead of, or on the bottom instead of on the top. Then take a 1x1 one one stud and put it in the same place that you did with the other one. So right there. So there's two openings on one side and one opening on the other. And then put the slanted piece on the second or so that there's one stud over here and two studs on the right and you want to have two of these then place them on the bottom right there and there and there you have half of the antlers then you should have a another two or you should make a 
another set of antlers like that. And there you have the antlers. So to finish things off, you will need a one by two flat piece with um not sure what it's called but it has a little thing sticking up on from it you want two of those and a two by four flat piece and take these two studs and attach it to both sides like this then take two pins and put the ends on the little things that are sticking up then take a one by one stud and put it in the middle right there. See it? Like that. Then take the um, head and attach it so that these four studs are covered and that those two um, openings are attached to those two studs like this. And then um, these two openings are attached to those two studs like that and then the same thing on the other side and here you have the Xerneas head or Xerneas's head next take um two one by or two by three bricks and attach them to each other like that then take either two one by three bricks or one one by two or two by three brick attach it to the other bricks like that now we're going to make the front of the body and the head so what you need first is a one by six flat piece and a two by three flat piece then attach the 1x6 flat piece to the two middle studs, like that. Then take a 1x2 er, a flat piece, place it on the bottom stud to the left and to the right. Then take two 1x1 one one studs and place them on the remaining studs on the two by three flat piece then you need a one by one clip place it on the top stud of the one by six flat piece and you need a one by two flat piece with a bar and when you attach it to the clip make sure the two studs are facing the opposite direction of the studs on the 1x6 flat piece. Then finally place a 1x1 one one stud on the top stud of the 1x2 clip or bar. Like that. Now take a 1x2 flat piece and attach it to the middle two studs like that. Then take two 1x1 one one studs, place them on the top, left, and right studs, like that. Then take two more 1x2 flat pieces and place them on the remaining studs of the one or 2x3 brick, like that. Then take a 2x3 flat piece and attach it to the middle, like that and take two one by four flat pieces and attach them to the two or one remaining stud on each of the one by two flat pieces like that the final step for the body is take is to take one one by one brick and one one by two brick with a slant and attach the brick to the top opening like that so that the slant is going down to the left and then place the um, 
this new thing that we made on the um, bottom middle stud like that then take the other uh, then take the neck and the front two legs and attach them so that these six studs right there go on right here like that and there you have the body now we're going to attach the head to the body what you need to do is take the one by one stud from the or on, that's on top of the head and the one by one stud that's on the back of the head and place it on top of each other like that and there you have Xerneas in all its glory well if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later bye bye